All right, welcome back. Good morning. Meteorologist Daniel Maranti here. Let's talk about the forecast, and we do have some more active weather, of course. It's been such an active stretch, but today at least, we're going to keep it quiet. So today is kind of the break in the action before we get back to some, some of that action by tomorrow with the chance for some snow. But overall, this morning, it's a fairly cool morning, a little chilly out there. Temperatures in the teens and 20s across the state, going from 19 in Torrington all the way up to 26 in Bridgeport and 28 in New Haven. Now, as we go on through the day today, we'll uh, eventually get those temperatures up to around 30 which isn't too far off from where we are now. So still a fairly chilly day and a lot of sunshine during the morning and then some clouds kind of roll in during the day. Uh, overall, not too bad of a day, a little breezy at times. That's satellite and radar showing pretty quiet conditions across the state right now. And by the way, watch for a couple of icy patches out there this morning. I don't think that's going to be a huge concern. Most of the roads are dry, but you know, maybe that first step out the door, uh, if you see any puddles, the, obviously the puddles will be frozen from some of the melted snow that we had yesterday. And then of course they refroze during the overnight hours, so just something to be ready for. Overall, mostly sunny skies, some afternoon clouds filtering through, temperatures into the 30 degree range, and then by tomorrow, we have that winter storm watch in effect. Now, winter storm watch is uh, it just it's one step below a winter storm warning, and it basically means that the National Weather Service is you know, keeping an eye out for the potential for six inches of snow or more in some spots across Connecticut. So something to really uh, keep an eye out for, <laughs> watching, of course, that uh, potential for a winter storm, hence the name winter storm watch. So so let's go over some of the details here. The snow likely begins fairly light at first, kind of scattered and light during the day on Thursday, especially by the afternoon. I think the heaviest of it comes down on Thursday night going into Friday morning. That's when we'll likely deal with the, the bulk of this here. And then some lingering snow showers even into third, Friday afternoon or Friday night. Uh, in terms of precipitation, it's just going to be mainly snow. I mean, not looking like too much of a change over here. Maybe a brief little change over along the immediate shoreline, but uh, no real issues with any icing or anything like that. Basically just an all snow event here. And in terms of snow amounts, we're talking about four to eight inches of snow across the state. So pretty good snowfall here. And obviously there could be some school impacts for Friday. Uh, even by Thursday, there could be a couple of uh, early dismissals. I don't think school should be closed on Thursday, but you know, maybe by Friday with that snow on the ground, there could be some issues with that. So we'll keep an eye out for that, but uh, you know, pretty good Good thump of snow here as we go on through Thursday, uh, Thursday night and into Friday. Now after that, so we have that storm coming through Thursday into Friday. After that, Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at pretty quiet conditions. The weekend looking pretty good overall, although chilly. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s. Keep in mind the average high temperature for this time of year now getting up to near 40. We're at 39 for the average high. So theoretically, it should start to warm up at some point soon, hopefully, as we head a little closer towards uh, spring. And then um, uh, watching another chance for some snow on Monday, but not looking like a huge storm at this point. Uh, maybe just like a one to two inch kind of thing. So the active pattern continues, but at least today will be the break in the action. So a nice quiet quiet day for the middle of the week, and then we're back to that storm as we go on through Thursday into Friday.